Okay, this lecture is called How ATP Works. And what we're looking at is a um, chemical representation of, of ATP, adenosine tri triphosphate. What we have over here, let me get my pen to work. This part right here is adenosine. That's what adenosine looks like. You can see it has some nitrogen atoms and hydrogen and oxygen. And they're in different combinations. Here we have an oxygen that is uh, bonded to a couple of oxygen hydrogens over here. They have a name. We don't need to go into all that. NH2 has a name. But anyhow, when they're combined like this with their specific uh, bonding that they do, a different kind here and here. This is, this whole thing is adenosine. Now over here we have, you can see a repeating pattern over and over again. If you look like right here, we have this repeated over and over again. Actually, this thing is a phosphate group. This is called phosphate. You have a phosphorus atom in the middle surrounded by four hydro or oxygen atoms and you have a little uh, hydrogen attached right here and we have the same thing here. It shares that same oxygen and again here. And the last one has a uh, extra H. I don't know why but it's got an extra hydrogen. Anyhow, these are three separate phosphate groups. Phosphate is made up of hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus. And over here the adenosine is made up, where's my pen? Here it is. Phosphorus is made up of nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen. Nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen all of them in a specific arrangement. So if we had three of these, and we do three phosphate groups, that would be triphosphate, meaning three. Adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. That's what we're looking at. Now, how does ATP do its job? We know that it stores energy somehow. What happens is when we break down that glucose and oxygen, we release some energy and the body uses that energy to take a ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate, which means we wouldn't have this last group over here. We would just have these two. Now this phosphate group is floating around by itself and when we break down the glucose and the oxygen we use the energy right here at this bond and we glue on another phosphate group. This bond for whatever reason is easily broken. When it does break it releases energy and so this is sort of the gas can that holds the gasoline. The body is constantly recycling ADP. It's turning it into ATP and then it's taking the ATP and releasing the energy and using the energy which f when they when it releases it it breaks this bond right here this thing floats away it's not destroyed just it's not hooked up anymore and the energy has been released and then some more energy will be used to glue it back on there and it just recycles back and forth between ADP and ATP, ADP, ATP. You actually have about nine ounces of ATP in your body and you create and destroy about your body weight in ATP every day. So let's say you're a 120 pound person that means you create 120 pounds of ATP and turn it into 120 pounds of ADP and then turn it right back into 120 pounds of ATP all within a 24-hour period. And without that, your cells would die. 
So again, this lecture was called How ATP Does Its Job.